hammer Mjolnir and hurled it. He stood on a mountain top. He was waiting, for he had summoned Loki, the god of mischief. And the hammer, as always it did, returned. Thor looked at it and said to himself, I am not afraid of giants. All at once, up to the mountaintop scrambled Loki, who said, Well, Thor, you summoned me. What do you want? I am not afraid of giants, Loki. Why are you telling me this? Because I intend to go to Utgard to meet Utgard the Loki, the, 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 the king of the giants, and prove that I am stronger than all of them. Uh, the hammer's coming back. You'd better die. <laughs> And I've decided you may come with me. You want me to go with you? The, the, the magicians, Thor. The master illusionists. You don't really want me to go with you, do you? As long as you don't tell any lies and you don't do any of that shape changing, you may come with me. You're clever. <laughs> no lies. No lies. My lies are the best lies in of the known universe. No, that's not good. They're a lot more interesting than your boring reality for. Meet me in a thousand breaths and defrost the bridge, and we will go. So it was. After a thousand breaths had passed, Loki walked up past Heimdall the Guardian and beheld Thor with his chariot. His chariot was drawn by two giant goats, Tooth Grinder and Snarmer. And they were fearsome indeed, tethered as they were before the chariot. Are you ready, Loki? Now, well, as ready as I'll be, and all at once, down into the lights of the bridge they galloped. Soon Loki was going faster than ever he had gone. And he said, Thor! Thor, how fast are we going? The wind was howling in Loki's face. I can cover ten leagues <laughs> in an hour! Oh, that's good! Um, well, then how many leagues, Thor, can you cover in ten hours? Don't ask stupid questions, Loki. For a struggle with this. <laughs> Don't ask stupid questions. Uh, oh, I know. Enough. <sighs> Soon they arrived in the place of men. And as they rode their chariot along, Loki began to grow hungry and said, oh, oh, what are we going to eat for dinner? I don't know. Well, if there's a town there, why don't we stop there? I'm not ready to stop yet. Well, well, um, that looks like a perfectly legitimate uh, keep over there. They've probably got food. I'm not ready to stop yet. And so for the entire day, they journeyed until dusk began to fall and they had left a small village, and all that remained before them at the edge of the darkening fields was one tiny little hut. A mean-looking affair. Thor walked up and gently tapped on the door. A 
frightened looking old man opened it up and fell to his knees. from Asgard. We're hungry. Feed us. Please come in. What do you have to eat? The man looked around, and, 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 and there wasn't very much in the hut at all. Four noticed two young children over in the corner. Who are they? Oh, I them, that's my daughter, Raska, and my son, Thialfe. We have no meat. I'm sorry. Oh, but we can make you mush. Mush? Mush? I don't like mush. Mush. Um, you, your children, come outside with me. And Thor led the two out, and Loki looked, rolling his eyes, and the old man peered out the door behind the three. Thor walked up to his two goats and said, No, um, uh, killed the goats. The children looked astonished. But, uh, but, but you, never mind, I'll do it. And he took his hammer, Mjolnir, and <coughs> killed the two goats. They crumpled to the ground. No. Um, cut off all the hide and, uh, and, and bring in the meat and bones. But don't break any of the bones. Just bring it all in, leave the skin out here. So the children quickly butchered the two goats. Never had this family seen so much meat in all their lives in one place. And they brought it in. Good, now cook the meat. We'll have a feast. <laughs> Just don't eat any of the bones. And so it was. A feast was had in the little mean hut, such as those peasants had never had. In the middle of the dinner, uh, Thor went out to relieve himself, and as he did, Loki looked over at Thialfa the boy and said, Ah, you know the very best part, don't you? No, this it tastes like the very best part. Oh, no, that's not, it's the marrow. The marrow in the bone. It's in the center of the bone. <laughs> it's like butter. It's a, try the marrow. Just crack a bone and get some. Oh, but the big one said, oh, the big one says things he doesn't mean all the time. <laughs> Go ahead. Have some marrow. Break a bone. And so, the outfit broke open a bone. Tasted the marrow. Never had he tasted anything so delicious in all his life. And Thor came back in, not knowing of this, and sat down and they finished the feast and then they all went to sleep. And the next morning Thor rose and he walked outside. They had taken all the bones, picked clean of meat, and, and rolled them into the two goat skins. But there, of course, for these were not ordinary goats, Snarler and Toothgrinder stood ready in their traces to take them further on their journey. But that was when Toothgrinder took a step and stumbled. He's lame. Somebody ate a bone. Who ate a bone? I said, don't eat any of the bones. He raised his hammer and hit the ground with it. The entire region shook. Who ate the bone? And it was then that the boy, trembling, said, I'm sorry. I did it. I, 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 I did it. I'm, I'm sorry. Thor raised his hammer above the boy's head, but then looked at him and said, Oh, you're a mortal. Mm. 
he put his hammer down. For the rest of time, you, the Alpha, and your sister, Raska, will become our servants. But, for now, you, the Alpha, you must come with Loki, and with me, we are going to the capital city of the Giants. The um, Raska, stay here. Eat the meat. Every morning, fresh meat. Just don't take the goats anywhere. <laughs> and, uh, and don't touch the chariot. It won't like the... And so it was. Off walked the three of them. Thor looked at the boy and said, Well, can you do anything other than walk? Uh, I can run. I'm fast. You can run. Thor, I'm getting hungry again. You're always hungry, Loki. Yes, well, sorry, but I'm getting hungry again. Uh, 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 I, I can go catch us a rabbit. Run that fast. Go catch a rabbit. Yeah, oh, oh yes. Go catch a rabbit. We'll keep walking. And the boy ran off so swiftly he nearly turned into a blur before the two gods' eyes. Play fast, Loki. Look at that. Thor, don't you realize you just let him go? Ha! He'll never come back. You just Freed him, you just let him run off. Look, only you would say such a thing because only you would never come back. <laughs> and they continued to walk, and it wasn't long before the boy returned, and he was holding a, a snow hair. And well, I'll... Let's eat. So they cooked the hare, and they continued to walk for the day. Until, at last, dusk began to fall. stony plain that led them into Jotunheim, the land of the giants. It began to grow dark, and then suddenly misty rain began to be borne by dark wind into their faces. Thor remembered a forest's edge just before darkness had fallen. Let us make our way to the forest! This rain! This rain! And so they ran through the dark rain until at last they suddenly seemed to step in to a gigantic cave. What the rain stop? Where are we? Hello! 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 Where we are, Thor. It's a dwelling of some sort. Strange, a room, and then a, a hallway. And look, there's four more hallways going off in those different directions. Ha! Huh. Meanwhile, it was pouring rain outside. Well, we might as well sleep here. Yeah, yeah, we we'll sleep here. dark in here. We need a fire. Well, use, use your hammer for... It's a hammer, Loki, not a torch. Go ahead, you do it with your twig. Ah, very well. So, 
Loki lit a flaming twig and soon they had a fire going. After sitting and finishing what was left of the, the, the snow hair, they decided it was time to go to sleep. Thor looked around and said, I'll sleep in that, that hallway over there. <clears throat> yes, good. You sleep there, Thor. I won't have to listen to you snore. Yeah, I won't have to listen to you tell yourself lies in your sleep, Loki. And so they went their separate ways. Meanwhile, the boy cowered in the corner in the firelight, watching the two strange gods. In the middle of the night, the rain ceased. But then suddenly, there came a giant roaring, and Thor jumped up. What is that thunder? Thunder! What is that? He ran outside in the dark and looked around, holding up the old near. And then there came another mighty thunderous roar. What is that? He was worried, and so he stood guard until dawn. And it was then as Loki and the boy emerged, and light filled the world, that Thor craned his neck. They had spent the night in a glove. The hallways, the various places for thumb and fingers. And there they saw lying asleep in trees behind the giant glove the most immense frost giant ever they had beheld. Thor was put off. He said, Loki, look. Look at the size of that giant. I don't remember them being that big. Nor do I. How can this be? mighty elbow went down onto the earth and up rose a giant head covered with beard and with gray eyes and all at once the giant stood up towering above them so that they had to crane their necks full swallowed hard giant spoke. Who are you, little man? You are in Yotuna. I am Thor of Asgard, and this is Loki, and our boy is the elf. Uh, we are on our way to Utgard. Oh, why do you wish to go to Utgard? I am going to prove my strength. I am Thor! <clears throat> Everybody knows me. Wait me, I am going to prove my strength. Run, 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 keep up with the giant. He's going to the city. Fuck! I, 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 I
Please, I had my chariot run, but they could not keep up with the giant. The trees were flying up in shards up ahead of them, but it was growing more faint, the giant thunder of the footfalls of the huge man. Oh, uh, Gelf, Gelf, you're fast. Catch up with the giant. Come back and tell us where, where he goes. And the boy said, I will, and... Off he ran through the shattered tree stumps and fallen tree litter. <gasps> oh, we we'll, we'll just follow the, the trail of the trees, Loki. That giant was too large. Oh, too large. Something is going on. I don't know. It does not matter. I will prove my strength, no matter how big the giants are. But I agree, very, very big giant. Bigger than the ones at the wall that I killed. Very much bigger. <laughs> yeah, well. And so they walked. Half a day later, the alpha ran up. He went to the city. I know where it is. And so they followed the boy. Half a day's further journey, they at last stepped out of the forest, and there was a meadow. An immense meadow looked to be an ocean of grass. It went on forever, but rising in the center of it, it was a gigantic citadel, a city with immense walls. It was so large as they approached it that it boggled their minds. Look how big this city is! Yes, look. Okay. Yes, and uh, are you sure you want to do this, Thor? Yeah, yeah, I want to do this. And they made their way into the city gates. The gates were so huge that the three tiny figures simply slipped beneath them and put their backs against the gigantic stone walls that towered up like canyons. Immediately, a huge cat the size of a bear leapt out and Thor brandished his hammer and the cat slunk away. And then, foot traffic and giant wheels began to pass the three tiny figures. The giants were so tall, it seemed they did not notice the three as they crept along, keeping to the wall so as not to be stepped upon, until finally Thor spied off in the center a great spire. That, that, look, that must be the center of Citadel. Uh, let us make our way towards it. And so dodging the giant feet at last, they came upon the castle of Utgard the Lofka, king of the giants. And so into it they walked. Down a long hall they walked. Beneath giant tables were huge giants peered down and looked at the little figures. Up ahead, Thor could see Utgarda Loka himself, the king of the giants. Immense he was. He was bearded and sat on the throne and he was laughing. I am Thor, squeaked Thor from the floor beneath the, the feet of the giant. I am Thor, look at me. And the huge king creased his brows. What, what do I hear? I am Thor, oh. <laughs> Little gods, who are you? I am Thor. I have come to prove my strength. We do not feed <coughs> anyone who does not show us that. 
the strength first. That is good, I have come to show you my strength. Oh yes, and what is your name? I am Thor. Everybody knows me. Not everybody. So, three of you. Boy, what can you do? I can run. I'm fast. And I can run. Oh! He can run! Good! We will have a race! Out to the fields, bring out Hugh! And a giant appeared with heavy boots, and they all processed out into the fields. There were two posts, each a mile apart. Once back, whoever wins, wins. Well, good luck, said Thor. And the boy disappeared in a blur. Ah, as the alpha ran, the wind poured upon his face, and he could see the post out there in the green grass growing very swiftly closer toward him, when suddenly something flew past him, and then flew past him in the other direction. He ran out and touched the post, and... As he did, and he reached the starting line. There was Hughie grinning. Oh, not very fast. <laughs> not very fast at all. I can eat more, faster, than anyone here. I can eat. Into the hole! They all processed in. Out of an immense table was brought. It was long and heavily laden with full cooked oxen, giant meat pies, loaves of bread the size of barrels, and great mugs of ale and mead. Oh, this is how we play this game. Where is Loki? A giant appeared from behind an alcohol. Loki likes to eat. He starts at one end of the table and eats. You start at the other. Whoever eats more wins. Ha! Ha! And suddenly, Loki began to run along. He grabbed food from the place. He drank the ale and ran at full speed. Ha! And fast as lightning he ran and finished all the food in the very center of the table where suddenly <coughs> bumped heads with the giant. There you see, I ate as equally as much as he if not more. Oh yes. <laughs> Look again. Loki stepped away. Yes, the giant had eaten the food, but he'd also eaten the plates, the 
the chairs, the table itself. Loki was astonished. What, 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 what? Oh, not very much food. Oh. <laughs> you can't hear it. had grown quite concerned. Look, he said, I don't know, Thor, there is something a deeply amiss here. There is magic. Something is illusory. I'm not sure. I cannot see it. I know. I don't understand. You can eat faster than anything. I know. I just don't. Well, uh, um, I, I can drink. I can drink more than anyone in the nine worlds. Oh, you can, oh God. Bring out the drinking horn. And from a hole in the wall, the lip of an immense drinking horn was shoved. The rest of the horn vanished into the mists walked up, and there, bubbling at the brim, was Mead. Mead and Andrew. Go ahead, Thor. Drink. Show us your strength. And so Thor took the giant brim to his lips and... <laughs> much that the earth should have shaken, but instead, as he ah, pushed it away from him, the meter dropped only an inch. Oh! The, the weakest among us, they, they take three to drink it, stronger ones too, and I myself, I can drink it all in one draft. Try again. Let's uh, try again in the room. <laughs> he started to drink again. Never had he held his breath so long to pour a liquid down his mighty throat. And he pushed it away again. Oh! But, but once again, only an inch had proceeded from the brim. Oh no! Try once again! Oh! So once again, Thor drank, trying to empty the horn, but as he pushed away almost out of breath, oh! once again, an inch had dropped. Oh! Ah! It's not very much drinking. Oh, so, so strong you are. Can you do anything else? I, uh, I can wrestle, or I, and I can lift, lift strong things. I can lift. Oh, lift. Good. Bring out my kitty cat. Whoa. There, from an alcove, a strange-looking And so Thor went and grasped the cat. And he tried to lift it. And the cat's back arched and its eye looked up at him. And then suddenly one of the paws just barely cleared the stones. And then down it went again. That's a very heavy kitty cat. <laughs> By now, all the other giants were pounding their fists on the tables and laughing. 
Wrestle, I'll re wrestle any one of you. Oh, bring out my nursemaid, Hila. What oh, do I want me to wrestle an old woman? She's stronger than she looks. From the doorway came an old wizened woman. Her eyes were sunk deep. The wrinkles were like valleys upon her aged face. Wrestle my nursemaid door. And so he walked up, and the old woman grabbed him by his shoulder and began <laughs> to crush him down. No, no! Never had he felt such strength in all his days, and Thor was suddenly crushed down to one knee, and he said, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, poor Thor. We will take pity on you and feed you anyway. troubled. Thor, Loki, and Fialfa sat at the table made food. Thor, I don't understand this. They have grown more powerful than I remember Loki. We have to leave in the morning. <laughs> so the next morning, Utgard the Loka found them in their chambers and said, Come with me, I will escort you to the forest. And they walked across the sea of grass and the morning winds until they came to the edge of the tree. And the giant stopped. you go. Without telling you the truth. Ever since you entered Jotunheim, you have been under an enchantment. For I am Skrimir, the giant you met, and I did my best to convince you to go home. But you insisted you would come to our city, and we were afraid, and so we enchanted you. What do you mean? You, the elfin boy, that was no giant you ran against. That was my own thought, and though you're unfair, you cannot outrun Thor. And you, Loki, that was no giant, but fire itself. And though you consume much, no one can outconsume fire. But Thor, you frightened us the most. The horn you drank from was connected to the sea. And, and if you go to the sea, you will see that the beaches are filled with boats upon their bellies. So much of the ocean did you drink, half of it is gone. And this frightened us. And <laughs> that was no kitty cat. That was the great serpent of Midgard, Jormungandr, who runs all around the world and bites his own tail. 
Thor, did you know that's one of my offspring? Quiet, Loki. What else? What else? And, 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 and that was no nursemaid. But old age itself. And never have we seen anyone over whom it had so little power. Thor looked at Loki in astonishment. So go, and do not come near us again or we will enchant you. Thor grew furious. He raised Mjolnir about to strike the king, but the suddenly the king Three of them at the edge of the forest looked out across the green grass meadow, and the city of Woodgard vanished as well. Did you hear that, Loki? Did you hear that?